I dreamed to be, I dreamed to have, I dreamed to do. My life was in limbo for a long time. Going to college is the key to unlock my dreams. It's an aspiration many young people from migrant and refugee backgrounds hope to achieve. But entering third level for those who hold what are known as Stamp 3 and Stamp 4 permissions to be in Ireland means Susie funding is not available to them. The Susie grant will really help me a great deal because this will help me achieve my dream around education and because I really want to go to school and become a social worker in the future. How am I going to pay like 12,000 like... Yeah, I can get Susie, so it's really hard. Those on Stamp 4 permissions can work and they try to fund themselves by doing numerous jobs. It's stressful because you have to go through things, you have to work extra hard to pay and save up. I had to work two jobs and also attend school like, full time, so it's been really, really difficult for me. <laughs> for my course, I think it was like 3,000 a year. So, you know, for asylum seekers that are not working or can't work, they can't come up with that type of money. To me, education is a gateway to success. A new video by NASC aims to highlight the hurdles these young people face. They want to work in healthcare, they want to work in IT, and they're very much the, the areas that we need a workforce in. So it, it really does make sense to, to unlock their access to third level education and allow them to contribute. The Department of Further and Higher Education says the eligibility criteria for student grants, including the nationality criteria, is reviewed annually. And it says Minister Simon Harris intends to engage with Cabinet colleagues in relation to the criteria. Alva Keneally, RTE News, Cork.